Scientists and technicians at the Fraunhofer Institute for Applied Polymer Research are working on the next generation of flat panel displays based on polymer materials. This new technology is called light-emitting diets based on polymer materials short pellet. The pellet story began in 1989 in the Cavendish Laboratory in Cambridge in the United Kingdom. By chance, scientists discovered that polymers are able to emit light. An important step for the development of new displays is the development of new materials with improved purity. The Fraunhofer IAP is concentrating on producing ultra-pure and defect-free materials on lab scale. Small units of organic molecules are synthesized to larger units to control the charge transport and the wavelength of the emitted light. In this way the polymer material gets more functionality. The newly developed polymers have one thing in common. Many double bonds and aromatic rings, also known as conjugated p-electron systems. These conjugated materials are used for pellet devices because of their superior solubility, which makes them easy to deposit. The polymer materials are dissolved in special solutions, which allows to produce very thin layers of about 100 nanometers in a spin coating process. Spin coating is also a very easy process that allows to bring the pellets into different applications. Beside the polymer layer, a lot of other layers are necessary for a pellet device to emit light with high brightness. Transparent and reflective layers are used for the outcoupling of light. Other layers will be introduced to increase the efficiency and lifetime of pellets. The simplest pellets consist of an organic layer which is situated between two electrodes, anode and cathode. When a very low voltage is applied to the pellet, it starts emitting light. It is visible through the transparent layer. The color of the pellet is controlled by the polymer structure. The pellet devices can be designed with a great variety in their layout. A lot of illuminated signs, figures and graphs could be realized with pellet technology. The pellet could also be very small in diameters up to several hundred micrometers, similar to our well-known LCD displays. Connecting columns and lines to an integrated circuit, the pixels in this special matrix generate light. This is the easiest way to show moving pictures on a display. The main advantages are that pellets can be produced with very simple and cheap technologies. For example, displays could be printed out in the future. Nowadays, the first products are on the market. They show the advantages of this type of displays. Higher brightness, wide viewing angle and no necessary backlighting. Our world is becoming ever more visual. More information, more entertainment, more communication are the essential parts of our daily life. In the future a lot of displays will be built with this new technology. And the roll-up display is more than a vision. The roll-up computer is a vision which surely will need some years or even decades to be realized. But it offers new and innovative possibilities in displays themselves. The potential of pellet technology seems endless. In the future, these displays will be part of our daily life. They could not only be used on mobile phones or music players, pellets could be used for portable large screens, giving us a high density of information.